Good morning, folks. After being stifled by the earth-facing solar quiet effect, the departing northern active region got a little attitude adjustment. Pop over the limb. As if you needed a reminder, the quake watch has been surging due to earth-facing coronal holes. The magnetic fields connecting earth to sun were likely in this area, the dark parts that destabilized with a small filament yesterday. While any potential IMF-based shock was traveling towards Earth, the second half of the quake watch surge kicked in. Mercury conjoined Saturn to begin five days of major alignments. Within one hour, the Earth cracked 600 kilometers beneath the surface in two magnitude 7.6 earthquakes that struck five minutes apart. Luckily, it was inland, deep, and in an unpopulated area. We also had Earth spot activity across the Pacific. The Mariana Islands shook just as Typhoon Infa ran up past the area, and at that same time, a volcano went off in the Philippines. Infa has been a major Earth spot for days. So, beyond the seismicity and the little filament affecting the coronal hole, we are mostly calm on our star. We do have incoming active regions, but they have remained mostly calm. However, just overnight, they began to gain a touch of complexity. The umbral count isn't too bad, and we've got beta polarity all over the place with a couple great candidates for delta class magnetism. Let's go over to spaceweathernews.com and drop in on the X-ray flux to find solar flaring with only sparse low C-class events. The more interesting story here is the sputter of the solar wind as our star's downtrend to grand minimum offers ultra-low particle speeds. Ready? Engage. Folks, we've got a link below to this animation of the southern oceans at many different levels and in many different ways. It is a terrific look at temperature, water movement, patterns, currents, runoff, etc. in one of the most interesting places in the world. Next, we're going to go to the RSOE EDIS alert map, where we're in the United States with two nuclear events before hump day this week. 25 gallons of water leak that they say is now contained and a pinhole leak across to the west that is releasing small amounts of gas into the recirculation system but which is not scheduled for diagnosis until 2017. Folks, if you missed yesterday, both the hard cover of our book and the conference videos from Observing the Frontier are available. It's linked all over the websites and below on this page otf.cells.com. You can sort now to see the electronic and hardcover versions of the book Every pre-ordered hardcover copy will be signed and delivered before Christmas if ordered during this pre-order period. Also, for every pre-order of the hardcover by Thanksgiving, we will donate a dollar to the animals in need at World Heart. But also, folks, all the conference videos are posted. As I said, the full conference is posted in one video, but so are the individual presentations, with the exception of Dr. Robitaille's presentation, which will be made free on YouTube. It is, however, included in the full presentation, so for the price of a DVD, you're going to get approximately eight and a half hours of the presentations and the corresponding slide images. Right now, it's just an HD version of the full conference, and it's 15 gigabytes, but we are going to be uploading a much smaller version of the full conference for those with data concerns. While we're talking about observing the frontier, we're actually not sure we're going to be filming this second conference in Phoenix, at least probably not to the extent we did the first one. These face-to-face -face interactions that we had with you guys outside of the talks was by far the most fun part of the conference for you and for all of the speakers. Also, if you didn't hear, we now have a mailing address. I don't recommend cash, but a check is acceptable for either the book or SO website membership. Make sure to send along a username and email address for the membership if you go that route. And speaking of member stuff, the solar wind sputtering today was an appropriate lead-in to last night's episode of Deeper Look, The State of the Sun 2015. Subtitle, Nap Time. Got pressure and radar forecasts in top viewer locations, current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.